Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. I'm back, and I'm very sorry for missing a couple days, but I want to get into that before I get into the topic. Of course, this video, we're going to be talking about The Walking Dead Season 10, what I want to see from the season. I did this last year for, uh, you know, Season 9, and I think I even did it for Season 8, too. So, um... This video is really just going to be talking about what I want to see for the season, not necessarily what I think we're going to see, but just what I would want to see for the season. So uh, we're going to get into that in a minute, but I just want to discuss something real quick. Uh, I have been battling a cold like crazy for the last couple of days. Um, it's really bad today. Uh, I didn't even, uh, oh man, I'm just like, oh my God. Uh, just, I, I didn't even, I couldn't even do a video in the last, uh, you know, last uh, couple days or so. Uh, but uh, that's not actually the only reason. I'm, I'm battling a cold right now, so I, I'm very sorry for that, uh, you know, uh, that I didn't upload a video the last couple days. But uh, yeah, I am currently sick right now. But uh, another thing, uh, too, is that I also, uh, you know, work has been piling up at school like crazy. So I, I like, I'm so sick today, I didn't even go to school. But, yeah, I, work has been piling up like crazy, and then, because it's the end of the semester, of course, you know, so, tons of, uh, yeah, tons of work, and then, also, uh, I was, uh, rearranging the room, I was rearra uh, rearranging the setup, I used to have the bed, like, right here, literally almost in the shot, and I moved it way over here, and I arranged a few things in the room, so, yeah, really, really sorry, I probably sound sick, but, uh, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still do a video, because I don't want to go too long without uh, making any videos for you guys, so, uh, yeah, uh, so apologies, uh, you know, for, uh, missing a couple days, just sick, uh, a lot of work at school, and I uh, was rearranging the room a little bit in the last couple days. So, anyway, um, let's get into the video now, though. So, The Walking Dead Season 10. So, what do I want to see from this season? Well, the one thing I will say is that this is going to be a freaking awesome season. Like, it, it, if, there's, if there's one thing I'm going to say, this is going to be an awesome season, because we're going to have the Whisper War, mo most likely, at least, unless they, like, delay it for some... We're getting the Whisper War this season, really. Uh, and then, uh, we're going to be getting, uh, of course, uh, if we're lucky, we'll get to see a comic uh, storyline with Negan and Alpha, which I won't get into but this video is going to contain some comic spoilers but it's not too major because the show is so different from the comic now that I, I'm really not going to get into too much but um if anybody reads the Walking Dead comics and this is the first thing I want to see from season 10 um if anybody reads the Walking Dead comic book series, uh, you guys know that uh, there is a storyline coming up with uh, Negan and Alpha. I'm not really going to get into that because that is a bit spoilery and I don't want to actually uh, spoil anything about uh, Negan and Season 10. But if you guys read the Walking Dead comic book series, I'm referring to issue 156. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And don't spoil it for anybody uh, anybody else in the comments because people... I, I don't really cover spoilers much because people just don't like it when I uh, spoil something. But that right there is the one thing I do want to see for this season. So, if you read the comics, you know what I'm talking about. So, I want to get the spoilery part out of the way first. Second is that I want to see some war. Now, um, I actually, for this season, I don't want them to promote it as the Whisper War. Um... I don't. Uh, I think they should either promote it as a uh, call to arms or something else because honestly, I just don't think that promoting it as the Whisper War would really do good for this season. They promoted Season 8 as All Out War and people hated it. Like, they hated Season 8. They didn't want to see a war season. They wanted Negan dead and not draw it out for like, just, you know, dra drag the story uh, storyline out for, you know, two, three seasons of uh, Negan and the Saviors. So, um... That's why I feel like with this year, I feel like they're not going to do that. I feel like they kind of learned that people don't like it when they promote it as the war, you know, of uh, the saviors or the war of the whispers or this and that. So I feel like this year they're going to promote it as something else, either call to arms or something else, uh, just so something else. But I don't think they're going to advertise the Whisper War in this season. Now, I do want to see it. That is the one thing I do want. I do want them to actually include the Whisper War. And I actually don't mind if it literally starts in, like, the dead center of the season. Because... What I've been seeing recently is that a lot of people are saying maybe they'll wait till the second half to do the Whisper War. Why wait? You know, honestly, why wait? Honestly, I know some people think they have to section things off and have like the first half be like the, the build up and then the second half be this and that. Honestly, I don't really care what they do. I really think that they honestly could start the Whisper War in like episode six or something, like literally almost in like the middle of the season. And I, I think it'd be fine. Um, 
I don't really think you need to section things off the first half of this and the Whisper War in the second half. And I do think if I, if I'm gonna say, uh, say something, I do actually want the Whispers dead by the end of this season. And I know that might sound crazy, but I just don't want them to do the same thing as they did with the Saviors, where people get sick of it and it's like, we're going into season 11 and we still got the Whispers around. I think they really, I don't want them to do a Terminus type of thing, which have them be gone, like in a few episodes, but have them be gone by the end of the season at latest. I, I really don't think that you should have them in season 11 um i say season 11 have the commonwealth start or at least the beginning of that because uh, and they're already kind of doing that you know somebody's voice on the radio might be a tie into the comics if you guys know what i'm talking about so i'm just saying i think that that's probably uh, that's good you know i don't think we should uh you know go into season 11 and the whispers still be there so, uh, and that's why I think we will get that, uh, that thing with, uh, Negan and Alpha probably early on this season. I, I do think so. And I'm, I'm, that's just my opinion. But, um, I'm thinking for this season, what I, things I really want to see, uh, just to kind of, you know, just kind of go over it again. Um, I'm saying, uh, you know, whispers and some, maybe a few battles in the first half, uh, a good send off, a really good send off to Michonne because we know she's leaving this year. Um, too bad they couldn't have David Morrissey come back or something for the governor or something. Uh, but, uh, I mean, they're probably not going to go uh, that uh, that into it. They're probably just going to have her leave and go find Rick. But uh, if they want to have, like, a big, like, Michonne's final episode like Rick or something, you should bring David Morrissey back. You should maybe even bring a few of the other characters back. But, again, I don't know if they'll actually do that. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, I think Michonne will leave and go looking for Rick, and I think that's what they're going to do this season. So I, I, I'm good with that. I think that's good. Um... Maybe some time with Michonne and stuff. Uh, I think uh, another thing I think we should see is uh, the Whisper War, uh, you know, start at least around the mid-season finale at latest. But I, I think we're going to see some battles in the first half. So, uh, and I would actually kind of prefer that. Uh, and then in the second half of the season, I would like to see uh, the storyline from the comics where there's Negan versus Beta. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, and uh, maybe we get to see some fight scenes, some Whisper stuff. Um... Maybe like some good old fashioned sword fights because there's not that many guns left. And, uh, maybe we could even see if we're lucky, uh, the part from the comics where Hilltop is burned down, uh, by, uh, the whispers, of course, because they all fire like the, uh, the arrows and you get it, Hilltop basically is destroyed in the comics in the Whisper War. So, uh, I think for the TV show, unless they maybe just think, uh, the kingdom's good, maybe we'll, they'll keep the Hilltop in Alexandria for good, or maybe they'll kind of shorten it more and have, uh, Hilltop be destroyed as well and just have Alexandria. So, that's really, um, that's something that we're not too sure of uh, at the moment either. So we're going to have to see how this goes. And I think uh, in terms of character deaths this year, I think we should probably, out of the ones I think I, I'd like to see, maybe like Gabriel, uh, maybe Sadiq. You could do, yeah, you could kill off maybe Rosita if it, if it, if if it, if it's the right time. Uh, and I'm thinking death of Alpha, death of Beta, I think has to happen this year. Uh, even though I don't want to see it because I, I do like the both of them. I just think for the, for the health of the show, you know, as dumb as that sounds, for the health of the show and for them not to have more people drop off because it's going on too long with the whispers, I think have them both be killed this year and all the whispers as well. But one big, like, final battle. Um, and the last thing I think they could do if they wanted to is have Alpha lead her herd, the herd that uh, she shows Daryl to maybe one of the communities or something, like either lead it to Alexandria or lead it to Hilltop, either one. Uh, I think that'd be cool and have them have to deal with this herd of zombies or something, you know? Um... I think that'd be a, a good, you know, a good few couple of uh, uh, episodes as well where they're struggling with this uh, herd that Alpha's kind of uh, thrown, you know, uh, towards them. And I, I really think that uh, that would be a good few episodes as well. So, uh, I, you know, when you look at all that, you know, I think... This should be a great season. I think they, it even does have potential to be better than season nine if they actually do the ma uh, they make the season uh, the way they should and the way I would like it to. If they if they did everything I just mentioned in this video, uh, I think that we have a good season coming up. So. Um, Anyway, write your comments in the comment section below. A bit of a channel update. Also, uh, of course, a Walking Dead topic for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Of course, I will be back with a character spotlight video on Saturday or maybe a discussion topic uh, tomorrow if you guys want to see one, but uh, you know, I, I definitely need a discussion topic video for tomorrow, because I don't have uh, too much planned for tomorrow's video, but uh, anyway guys, so sorry about the wait, but I'm back for another video, and I definitely did not want to go too many days without making any videos at all, and uh, yeah, just really, uh, you know, really, really sorry. School's getting just crazy amount of work. Uh, I'm battling a cold now, unfortunately. Ugh, man, I...
Gotta hate colds, right? And then, of course, uh, you know, I was also rearranging the uh, the room a little bit, and uh, that took me a little while as well. So, yeah, just uh, just busy, really. But uh, that, that, I guess that's the one thing I can say. Just busy, uh, busy life. So, anyway, um... But definitely, like I said, did not want to go too long without making any uh, any videos at all. So anyway, I will see you guys again uh, on a Saturday for a uh, character spotlight video. And of course, uh, you know, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Write down in the comment section below what do you want to see from the new season of The Walking Dead. And of course, uh, if you're new here, click that subscribe button if, so you don't miss any of my Walking Dead videos or fear the Walking Dead videos or uh, Stranger Things videos because we're going to be getting into that too pretty soon because Stranger Things is coming up. And of course, uh, fear this weekend and just tons of other stuff. So of course, uh, let's get ready for that. Let's hope fear is good. I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping it is. I'm crossing my fingers that fear is good uh, this, uh, this uh, Sunday. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.